in the previous video i have already explained the 40 viva questions on f triple e and this is second part again the viva questions on f triple e question number one what does the first two color bands on register represent on in on register you have um, the four color bands one two three and last one is tolerance band what what does the first two color band represent the first two color band represent the digits of the resistance value the first digit and second digit of the resistance value how do you identify multiplier in the register color code always the third color band represents the multiplier value so it is into the first two values into 10 to the power of that value so it is the uh, third color band oh, what does the gold band on the resistance indicate the gold band indicates plus or minus 5 percent tolerance in the resistor's value if it is silver band it represents plus or minus 10 percent tolerance in the resistor value question number four how do you measure resistance using multimeter so you should set your multimeter to resistance mode or you can uh, uh, resistance mode then connect your uh, multimeter probes to the resistors the two ends of the resistor then read the displayed value uh, in a multimeter so why might the multimeter reading differ from the register color code value you will get one value from the color code method and you will get some other value from the multimeter method both will not be exactly same why it happens so the answer is the difference occurs because due to the tolerance because each and every register has a tolerance value because of tolerance value we will get we will not get the same value from multimeter and same value from the color code method and it may be due to the aging the registers it get, um, if we are using the same register from so many years and the register value will not remain same it changes and uh, temperature affects uh, the resistance value changes and if the multimeter is not a good one so the multimeter in uh, accuracy is also leads to difference in the two readings what are the two terminals of the diode called the two terminals of the diodes are anode and cathode how can you identify the cathode of the diode physically the cathode is marked with silver band or sometimes the white band on the diode body what is the purpose of diodes anode and cathode the anode is positive terminal cathode is negative terminal so current always flows from anode to cathode how do you test a diode using multimeter so first you should uh, set your multimeter to diode mode there is diode symbol on the multimeter you set it to your multimeter to diode mode and place the positive probe of your multimeter on the anode and a negative probe of your multimeter on the cathode and it is forward biased when it is forward biased it should show um, uh, sometimes some multimeter show 500 to 700 reading or some multimeter show the voltage drop 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 volts for silicon diodes so what does an open circuit or no reading on the multimeter indicates when diode uh, testing a diode so when you don't get any reading on the multimeter what it indicates an open circuit or not reading indicates that the diode is faulty the diode is uh, diode may be faulty diode or it may be a broken uh, in a reverse bias so it won't show any value what is the purpose of bridge rectifier bridge rectifier uh, it converts ac alternating current to dc that is pulsating dc using the four diodes how many diodes are used in bridge rectifier configuration we use four diodes in a bridge configuration what is the advantage of bridge rectifier over a half wave rectifier we know that there are two types of rectifiers half wave rectifier and a full wave rectifier so half wave rectifier only during positive half cycle we get output during negative half cycle there is no output but in the bridge rectifier we get output during both positive and negative half cycle a bridge rectifier provides full wave rectification it is called as full wave rectification if we get output during both positive and negative half cycle it is called as full wave rectification using both halls of the ec cycle leading to higher frequency 
how can you use CRO to compare the input and output waveforms of the bridge rectifier? So use your CRO probes to observe the input waveform AC and the rectified output pulsating DC, which will have waveform with no negative cycles. So what waveform would you expect at the output of the bridge rectifier before and after filtering? Filter is nothing but removing the uh, unwanted uh, signal from the rectified DC or uh, it is used to remove the uh, AC component present in the output. So before filtering the output is pulsating DC, after filtering the output is a smooth DC with, with reduced ripple. So what are the three terminals of the transistor called? They are emitter, base and a collector. How can you identify the terminals of the transistor physically? So you, you should use the transistor data, uh, data sheet or you can Google the pin diagram of uh, the particular transistor. Mm -hmm. So you will get the terminals of the transistors. What is the role of the base terminal in a transistor? The base always controls the current flow. So uh, 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 between the collector and emitter terminals, it always controls the flow of current between the current and emitter terminals. How do you test a transistor using multimeter? So set your multimeter to diode mode. Then for forward bias testing between base and emitter and between base and collector junction. So it should show a smaller voltage drop. What does it indicate if both the emitter and emitter base and the emitter uh, base collector junctions show no output drop in their direction. If it, if it does not show any drop, what it indicates? The transistor is a faulty or it may be a damaged transistor. How does a transistor function as an electro electronic switch uh, when a small current is applied to the base? So uh, it allows larger current to flow between collector and emitter. So when you apply a small current to the base, more current flows between collector and emitter, the transistor becomes turns on. Therefore, we call it as a transistor it acts as a switch in an on condition. What type of transistor is typically used as a switch? We can use both NPN transistor as an hand PNP transistor. But in the PNPN transistors are commonly used as a switches. What happens when there is no current applied to the base of the transistor when it is acting as a switch? If you don't apply any current to the base, transistor remains off. So when transistor remains off, no current flows between collector and emitter. So we should apply some current to the base, then only transistor turns on. In which region transistor operates when uh, used as a switch? So uh, there are three types of region in a transistor, saturation region, active region, and a cutoff region. So when it is in on condition, transistor will be in a saturation region. When it is in off, off condition, transistor will be in a uh, saturate, cutoff region. So uh, uh, when it is on saturation region, when it is off cutoff region. So what role does the base register play in the transistor switch circuit? In the transistor switch circuit, we should connect a register to the base of the transistor. So this base register will limit the current. So it will, um, uh, it will not damage the transistor. Therefore, it is called as a current limiting register. It will protect the transistor from the damage. What is the purpose of IR proximity sensor in a digital circuit? So IR proximity sensor, it detects the nearby object. So without any physical contact, using the infrared light, it detects the objects. What are the key components needed to connect IR proximity sensor? We need IR proximity sensor. We need power supply. We are using a 9 volts battery, a 4.5 volts battery. Um, we use resistors and connecting wires and a digital circuit. How do you mm, uh, wire an IR proximity sensor to a digital circuit? Connect your sensor VCC, VCC to the positive, uh, uh, positive terminal of the battery, ground to the ground terminal, negative terminal of the battery, and output to the uh, LED. Digital output is nothing but we are using LED to turn on. So um, we are connecting it to anode of the LED. How can you test IR proximity sensor is working correctly in your digital circuit? So first you should turn on your battery 
So check the output signal and now you place your object in, uh, near IR proximity sensor, then verify the circuit response. The LED should turn off. When we keep our hand near the IR proximity sensor, LED will be turned off. So when there is no object, LED will be in on condition. What are the common issues that might be encountered when connecting and testing IR proximity sensor? We may do incorrect wiring or we may not give the required voltage for IR proximity sensor. It requires 5 volt supply. So we should not connect more than that voltage. So misalignment and the incompatibility output levels, all these will make uh, 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 all these issues um, might be encountered when connecting and testing IR proximity sensor. What is the output of NOT gate with the zero input? NOT gate is always complement, complementation takes place. When I give zero, output will be one. When I give one, output will be zero. What is the output of AND gate with the input one and zero? The output of the AND gate is zero. When both the inputs are 1, then only I will get the output 1. Otherwise, the output is 0. What is the output of OR gate with 0 and 0? OR gate output is 0. If any one of the input is 1, output of the OR gate is 1. Otherwise, if both the inputs are 0, 0, the output is 0. What is the output of NOR gate with 1 and 0? The uh, opposite to the OR is NOR gate. So, when 1 and 0, the output is always 0 for the NOR gate. What is the output of NAND gate? 1 and 1, the reverse of the AND gate is NAND gate. Uh, so the 1 and 1 output is 0. In XOR gate, if the inputs are different, output is 1. If the inputs are same, output is 0. So what is the output of NOR gate with 0 and 1? The output is 0. In AND gate, if both the inputs are 1, output is definitely 1. In NOT gate, if the input is 1, the output is 0. What is rectifier? The, it is a device which converts AC into pulsating DC. You can write pulsating DC here, not direct DC. So it is pulsating DC. So uh, AC into pulsating DC. Name the two types of rectifiers you have. So half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier. What is filter? It is a circuit which removes unwanted frequency from the signal because in the pulsating DC, we have uh, some pulses in the output waveform. So I want to get a straight line, that is DC signal. To remove that pulses, we use filter. Name the common type of filter used in power supply. It is a capacitor filter. So these are the 45 questions on FEEE uh, yeah, subject.